Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Bale Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. If you thought MLK Weekend was crazy busy, yeah, you're not crazy. Nearly 180,000 cars traveled I-70 through Summit Friday through Monday, setting a new holiday ski record. That beat the previous MLK record from 2020 by almost 5,000 cars. Friday itself was the single busiest day of winter so far. State Patrol believes distracted driving killed a cyclist on Highway 9 north of Silverthorne in September. The accident report was just released. It shows a Dillon man, Jesus Gutierrez Sanchez, was weaving and likely distracted by a passenger when he hit a cyclist from Minnesota. The cyclist died on scene. Gutierrez Sanchez was not speeding or intoxicated. He is charged with careless driving resulting in death. Drugs, theft, assault, and abuse sent 31 people to Summit County Jail in recent weeks. This from the sheriff's arrest log. A man racked up nine charges in Keystone January 8th for drunkenly stealing a car and then crashing it while fleeing from cops. He later spit on a detentions deputy. Six people were cuffed for DUI or drug charges. Six others were jailed for domestic violence and separate incidents. One man earned four charges of child abuse. 2022 will be the best year ever for Dillon tax revenue. The latest report from November shows revenues were nearly 48% ahead of the previous high in 2021. The town was also spending more on salaries, streets, and police. Event spending got the biggest boost, more than doubling in one year. For a third straight year, the local real estate market was worth over $2 billion. Average sales price last year was 12% higher than 2021. 1.4 million for a home, more than 1 million for a townhome, 728,000 for a condo. But sales volume cannot keep pace, falling 27% since 2021, when sales reached nearly $3 billion total. That data comes from Summit Association of Realtors. New snow almost closed the Christmas holiday gap for ski town lodges. Analytics from Destimetric shows bookings in December for December grew 112%. Occupancy ended just barely behind 2021, but revenue was higher thanks to astronomic room rates. Experts are now hopeful this trend will continue with consistent and even record snow across the West. This week on the State of Summit. We looked at this as a win-win and to be able to provide more access to outdoor recreation for folks. That was Summit County Commissioner Elizabeth Lawrence on a land exchange 15 years in the making at Blue Valley Ranch near Green Mountain Reservoir. This is pretty rare. Doing land exchanges is pretty rare. It's a years-long process. It takes a lot of study, a lot of folks to be a part of it. The property owner there is swapping acreage with the Forest Service and BLM. This will open to the public new stretches of Blue River shoreline. The Blue River goes right through his property. And he employs biologists, um, fishery specialists, um, all sorts of folks to make sure that the wildlife habitat there is pristine. When finalized, the deal comes with $2 million for public amenities, like boat ramps, wreck areas, and trailheads. Folks often complain about how crowded places are in the outdoors. That's only certain places. There's so much more to explore that has a lot to offer. The deal is finalized in March. Tune in again next week for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. You ever drive through Dillon and wonder who owns that property? We're going to tell you. The last remaining home at Dillon Ridge, the one with the camper next door to Einstein Bagels, belongs to Gerald and Virginia Roush. It is a one-story, three-bed, two-bath on 1.5 acres, most recently valued at 864000 The home itself dates back to 1961. The Roushes have lived there since 1975. And now you know. In sports, the Avalanche play the Flames tonight at 7.30. The Nuggets face the Timberwolves at 8 on ESPN. And in local sports, Summit High Wrestling is on the road in Glenwood Springs today. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.